This is Witchspace News for Friday the 23rd of July 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week ...the Far God Cult gets its own community goal and it's a slow news week from Frontier. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. An unusual new double sided CG launched into the game on Thursday this week. That in and of itself is nothing unusual but the motivations of the CG beneficiaries are. Whilst the CG is the standard deliver shed tons of goods and enforce the rule of law in the system type of CG instead of the communities crowdsourced might being brought to bear to favour one side or another in some political shenanigan soaked superpower struggle this weeks CG is entirely supporting the Far God cult and their desire to outfit and use megaships to spread their particular and peculiar brand of dogma. Peculiar brand of dogma is a very kind way of expressing what the Far God cult is preaching. If you've never heard of them before then please indulge me for a moment while I break down what you can expect from these folks should they ever come knocking on your door. Followers from the Far God cult or the Order of the Far God to give it its proper name are generally peaceful and non-violent adherents to a doomsday cult that believes that the Thargoids are essentially dark angels and heralds of an omnipotent all knowing entity that they refer to as the Far God whose arrival in our universe will bring an end to all of humanity. Those that worship the Far God will of course be spared you know because otherwise it would be silly. The cultists are said to build what are called hive chapels to facilitate the old praying and whatnot they presumably indulge in when no one from outside the cult is looking. There are several far god cultist sites dotted throughout inhabited space with the usual diet of logs and diaries that you can pick up should you so desire and you may also get a visit from one of the cultists angelic heralds whilst you're there if you're lucky. This slightly unusual CG supporting the secretive cult has led to some small degree of speculation that Frontier may be lining us up for some further, deeper ways to commune and interact with the deep space danger lilies beyond our two current options those being A run away or B somewhat more active engagement ...let's call it laser diplomacy. Honestly I'm not convinced that Frontier has any such plans in that direction. I do think Thargoids are endgame boss mobs to be ruthlessly murdered in their millions for the giggles but I'd be overjoyed to be wrong in this regard. Whilst this CG is unusual it isn't sadly unique. There has been at least one CG previously in support of the wacko Xena jockeys way back in 3304 and nothing Thargoid wise has really changed with ET since then so maybe don't get your hopes up. The CG itself doesn't care if you're playing on Horizons or Odyssey and as well as rewarding the usual piles of cash it's also dispensing some stickers to slap on the side of your ships come the resolution next week which regardless of your feelings towards the Terratrifids themselves could be worth your time. There's some links in the video description if you're curious to read more about the Far God cult before accepting their money. It's been a quiet week on the Frontier front. Sadly that means there is no new Odyssey information this week. The Cambridge developers had promised to make the Super Cruise News Tuesday livestreams more information dense on a bi-weekly basis with the off weeks being more gameplay focused. In the 11 days since David Braben made his forum post detailing the company's intention to double down on PC development together with the indefinite delay of Odyssey on the consoles there have been two episodes of Super Cruise News neither of which were of the news focused format which was promised. That's not to say that the company has been silent ...quite the opposite actually. They're extremely active on the forums and on Twitter and still presenting the weekly gameplay and community news focused portions of their livestreams. When they are talking they're just not saying anything of significant consequence. 
The companies community managers are being asked on the forums on a daily basis what is coming and when. We do know from what David Braben has said and from CM responses that patch 6 for Elite Dangerous Odyssey is in the works but beyond that the only responses at the moment are various flavours of there is more stuff coming, we're itching to talk about it and when we can say more we will. From the content and timber of their public responses to inquiries it appears that currently they're very much treading water between info drops. As soon as we know more we'll of course let you know so make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that. The next benchmark moment is the monthly development update which if they keep to the plan schedule should be sometime next week. So are you participating in the Far God Cult CG? Do you perhaps believe the Thargoid vessels are the herald for something bigger? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.